For some reason, there are still many skeptics regarding this whole pandemic. I really don't understand it, nor am I here to argue with anyone. But hopefully for those of you who think it's all a hoax, after watching this video, you'll come to terms that what we're dealing with is very real and very scary. The media has been showing a lot of data regarding the virus and disease, but they've mostly just displayed numbers. For some, seeing high death toll or even infection numbers are enough to put things into perspective. For others, they need to actually see what the virus can do to someone before they really understand how severe it can be. And after a man shared his experience dealing with COVID, well, like I said, I certainly hope after hearing this story, anyone who is skeptical about all of this in the first place for whatever reason, comes to terms that it is in fact very real. What's going on guys, Jared Bronstein here and today we got an incredibly interesting story as a man has actually shared photos documenting what it was like fighting off this awful disease which has claimed the lives of people all over the world. Mike Schultz is a 43 year old nurse from California, no underlying health issues and at one point he weighed 190 pounds. The guy was an animal, like working out six or seven times a week and it clearly showed because he looked like he could bench press my car. However, after contracting COVID, Mike would end up losing 50 pounds and had to stay at a hospital for about six weeks total. Following his stay and release from hospital, Mike would post a side-by-side -side photo showing how much his body physically changed because of the illness. And you can clearly see he went from having insane muscle mass to some parts of his body actually appearing to show bones sticking out. Mike's photo was captioned that quote, I wanted to show everyone how badly being sedated for six weeks on a ventilator or intubated could be. Amongst other things, COVID-19 reduced my lung capacity with pneumonia. Over eight weeks, I've been away from family and friends, getting stronger every day and working to increase my lung capacity. I'll get back to where I was in healthier ways this time, maybe even do cardio. Speaking with BuzzFeed, Schultz explained he went to the hospital on March 16th, two days after arriving in Boston to see his boyfriend, Josh. A week prior, the two were at Winter Party Festival in Miami, where Josh was performing as he is a DJ. Unfortunately for Mike, Josh, and all those attending, it seems someone had the virus and spread it, leading to at least 38 people from the event falling ill and three of them dying. I can't say for sure this is where Schultz got sick, but it seems most likely. Speaking on it, Mike said, I quote, we knew it was out there. There were no real restrictions in place though. No lockdowns. We just thought, well, we got to wash our hands more and be wary of touching our face. When Schultz first arrived in Boston, he felt a little under the weather, but nothing too serious. Within two days, his fever reached a temperature of 103 and his lungs started filling with fluid. The men rushed to the hospital where Mike was immediately taken in, not even giving Josh a chance to say goodbye. After four days, Schultz was moved to a larger hospital where he was eventually told he was going to be sedated. I quote, one of the doctors said early on, I was probably going to be intubated and it freaked me out. When first speaking about the virus, Schultz said, I quote, I knew what I thought going in. I didn't think it was as serious as it was until after things started happening. I thought I was young enough for it not to affect me and I know a lot of people think that. I wanted to show it could happen to anyone. It doesn't matter if you're young or old, having pre-existing conditions or not, it can affect you. After being intubated for four and a half weeks and finally gaining some of his own strength back, Schultz is now out of hospital, working every day to get back to the place he was before this awful illness came into play. However, Schultz explained even having the energy to take the photo, which has since gone viral, took everything in him. And while in hospital, I quote him saying, I was so weak, this was one of my most frustrating parts. I couldn't hold my cell phone, it was so heavy. I couldn't type because my hands shook so much. He also lost track of time thinking only a week had gone by when in reality, he spent about six weeks in the hospital, four and a half of those weeks sedated. So as you can see, this illness is incredibly serious, which is why it's so important that we listen to local health officials. Unfortunately, since coming out with his story, some people have actually attacked Schultz and his boyfriend, saying that if they went to the party, then they deserve to get sick. Now, I don't know who would take time out of their day to go after someone who was already dealing with something as awful as this illness, but thankfully it seems Schultz is getting more love than hate. He told Buzz feed that quote the negative stuff bothers me but it doesn't bother me that much because I've gotten so much positive feedback now thankfully after checking out Mike's Instagram page he seems to be doing much much better just yesterday at the time of this recording Mike posted a photo of him eating his birthday lunch courtesy of his boyfriend Josh so Mike Happy birthday if you see this buddy. Wishing you all the best in your recovery and I hope we could find a way to help those still recovering from the illness sooner than later. And that does it for this one guys. Let me know your thoughts below in this whole situation. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. We need to talk about Shane Dawson. Love Billy said sometimes just watching the company people keep says a lot about them. I agree. I think it was Dan Pena. He said, show me your five friends and I'll show you your future. Like your five closest friends and I'll show you your future. Iri Rogue said, man, people must be really bored if they're canceling a person again for the exact same thing for which they were previously canceled. But that was the point I was trying to make is like, just do it or don't. It's enough to keep bringing up old things that you just want to attack. Like it's been dealt with. So either if you're going to stop supporting him, then just stop and let's all move on. I don't know. That's where I stand. James Kidd said, I hate it when people bring up the past. You're telling me that no one's changed in a couple years. You're telling me I was the same as I were 10 years ago. People just want clout. Goddamn. I could not agree more with that comment. Again, certain things, you know, depending on how old you are and depending on the time, like, there are variables, but with that being said, I think about some of the things I've said on YouTube, I may regret in the next 10 years. I have no idea, but for the time being, I gotta live in the moment, so. Anyways, guys, that does it for this one. I've been your host, Jared Bronson. You guys have been watching IO, we'll see you in the next one.